Ah. Yup. 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 That's me. You're probably wondering how I got into these situations. Well, let's start with a recap. I'm Farrell Salvador. I'm Malaysian with Filipino Irish descent, and I've traveled to 30 countries. Yup. I love to travel, and I can also speak four languages. I'm a manager during the day and a boxing coach at night. Despite my busy schedule, I make time for travel, so right now, I'm here in Dabong, Klantan to explore amazing ecotourism sites that you probably never have heard of or seen before. I'm with my brother Gerald and friend Yuva, and we joined this group of 50 plus adventurers to explore Klantan ecotourism. This is the first day of the tour, and in the morning, we hiked Camp Baha in Gunung Stong. We started at 7am and finished around 1pm. And now, we are still in Dabong, and they said that in here, there's a cave that contains fish, a cave that has a gate, and a cave that makes you go blind. Well, I'm not sure about it. So let's just dive right in, or should I say, let's spelunk right in. Okay guys, so this is our second location, Gua Ikan here in Kelantan. I'm not quite sure what to expect here, but all I know is a cave. So I'm really curious why they call it Gua Ikan. Probably the, the rocks are shaped like a fish. Maybe we can go and check it out and see whether it's really a fish or it's just there's some history into it and why they call it an ikan. Let's go check it out. Let's go! Go ikan! Okay, so first cave here that we're doing, we are not doing Gua Ikan first, we're doing Gua Gelap. So we are ready, let's go see what's inside this cave which is called Gua Glup or dark cave in English. What is dark cave? Dark cave in English. Gua glup. Alright, it is dark. Oh, it's quite a narrow space. Very narrow. Oh, very interesting. It's quite cold inside here, very breezy. Oh, I'm getting wet. Oh, darn it. Okay, if you want to see it, it's from the water. But it's from the water. It's from the water. It's from the water. It's from the water. So according to our tour guide, it's going to take millions of years just to, to create a drainage like this. Look at that. Wow, this is very, very narrow. Guys, if this, if you guys have a, if you guys are, what's that thing called? Claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. This will be fun. This is going to be fun. You will really get that adrenaline rush. Oh, spider. Spider, spider. Okay. 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 Tell him it's uh, time to sleep. Okay guys, one way to find out why it's called Gua Gelap is turn off our lights. Okay. Go. One, two, three. The reason why you call it Gua Gelap. Turn it off. Yeah, turn it off. Turn off all your lights. All, all light. Turn off. Tutup lampu. All light. All light. Tutup lampu semua. Is it off already? Yeah. It's off? Yeah. Oh, seriously, Glove? Yeah. Oh, it's Lampu, lampu, tutup. Okay. Let's go. Alright, so it is dark. See, guys, that's how narrow it is. But my hand, my thumb is almost near. Okay. 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 What is the technique, girl? Uh, check barang dalam poket. Tidak ada. Uh, barang ini. Uh, bed, bed ada. Bed bagi saya. Ada. Okay. Nanti saya. Oh, wait. this is okay. Okay. scary. Uh, so we're going to an obstacle. It's quite narrow. It's very tiny, the hole. According to the tour guide, he says that it, it looks like somebody's just given birth. Uh, there we go. Yuva's coming out to a new world. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. There we go, Yuva. Okay. We're gonna get wet. Oh my gosh. Okay. For a while, Yuba. Okay. Oh, I'm getting wet. Ah. Ah, I'm just. I'm a newborn baby. Oi. Okay. <laughs> ah. Welcome. 
Welcome to Earth. Welcome to a new world, boys. Okay, that was an adventure. Oh, bang my head. Ouch. That hurts. Somebody's back. Somebody's back. Somebody's back. Okay. 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 Selamat pelahir. Alright, a new born baby. Yes. You can do it. Push. 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 Alright. Balik, 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 balik. Balik, balik. Balik ke belakang tadi. This thing's spunking. I'm out, peeps. Well, my heart is already. Can't and now see. we know. Can't see your head. Okay, so this gua gelap led us to a jungle. This is a jungle right now. So I'm not sure what to expect next. Maybe we're going to our next cave. Not quite sure, but maybe let's go pay attention and see where's our next destination. Because there's a series of caves down here in this location in Kelantan. So we just did the gua gelap. So if I'm not mistaken, we're going to do another three more. Gua keris, gua paga. And gua ikan, which is the main. Ya kan ni, kalau untuk survival, macam dalam hutan, memang kita untuk air. Oh, ni ni akan ada air tu. Ada air. If you ever get lost in the jungle for survival skills, you come across with this kind of vine, cut it, you get yourself some water. Next destination, gua paga. Let's go check it out. Why is it called gua paga? It's in translation in English. It means gate cave, something like an entrance cave or what. Not sure why, but let's go and find out. For some survival uh, knowledge, guys, if you are lost in the jungle, our tour guide taught us that if you find a tree like this or a root like this, if you want to be safe, you go here and you stay here. So you can spend a night down here, not worrying about an animal jumping from the back on you. You get your front vision from here, so if an animal's in the front, this is the only place you have to be worried. From the back, no worries. And also, as I was told, this one also can be used for smoke signal. So you just burn your, your the dried leaves down here and the smoke will go all the way to the top and it will send that, that, that signal. Because if you open, if you do an open burning, the smoke goes all over the place. But if you put it down here, the smoke goes all the way to the top and sends the signal. And also and a special thing about this root, you just have to bang it, it makes a loud noise. So this is the, the roots that they use to get attention for, for if you're lost in the jungle, one way to get your people's attention is banging this root. <coughs> Survival tips. Okay, let's go. A rare species to expect in this cave is called a trapdoor spider. If you guys are not familiar with that, it's the spider that comes out of a hole and grabs its prey. So this is one of it. <laughs> Okay, we've reached our second cave, Gua Paga or Gate Cave. So this rocks behind me guys, the reason this is how it got its name is because the rock formation here used to be uh, shaped like a, like a gate but unfortunately this, this rocks all collapsed of the tectonic plates, you know, the, the shipment of the tectonic, the, according to the tour guide, that movement all caused it to drop. What is amazing about this place yet, I'm still yet to find. Okay, it's quite a spacious place. Okay, there's one tip. If you're inside the cave, don't talk loud because they say some, something might drop because of the vibration. Oh, okay. So, you mean like uh, stalactite? Whatever is hanging on, on top there. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, guys, I have to be very quiet. Interesting. 
seen things clunky. <laughs> All right, we're out from that cave. Okay, so we've reached our final cave. Looks like we'll not be completing four caves today because of the time. Because we need to catch time. We spent quite quite a lot of time in, in two caves. The Gua Gelap and the Gua Paga. So this is our last cave. So we are unfortunate we can't go to Gua Keris because it's already too dark. So this is the Gua Ikan. According to the tour guide, last time there was, used to be fish down here. But looking around now, I don't see any fish. So this Gua Ikan, what I can say about it, it's a huge cave guys. So big, very spacious. And then there's a lot of bats. I can see a lot of bats here. There they are, all of them. Wow, there's a lot of them. Mind your head. Okay guys, so this is the one that tastes like an asam, but unfortunately we are not allowed to try it. So just for you to know that this one is uh, got an asam taste. It's a soury taste, but it's not a common delicacy because it's, it's uh, not allowed to be eaten. And people don't know much about it. So that's one thing to know. So don't try and be funny or try and be smart when you're all these plants. Because they are protected by the government. Very narrow. Ah, Alright. Okay, let's go. That ends our adventure here in the caves of Klantan. It was amazing. Truly really worth the visit. We are all soaked up, muddy, and all drained. Special thanks to Ketsa for making this happen. Really had a good time here in Klantan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and of course, share to your friends. See you in my other video, guys.